The Spade Cooley Show. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to start our program tonight with a tune entitled uh, Swimming Channel 5, and it goes sort of like this. One, two, three. <laughs> Lovely Diane Maxwell is making an appearance next week on uh, Steve Allen's show. And let's bring her in and hear a little bit about that, shall we? Come on in. Diane Maxwell, nice welcome for us. <laughs> Diane, you're appearing on Steve uh, Allen's show on the 15th, right? That's right. Well, what are you going to sing for us here tonight? I'm going to sing Dreamy. Dreamy? All right, let's listen. <laughs> Take me up to the moon like a gay runaway toy balloon.
just always sings a great song. We're very proud to have her with us, and we wish her a lot of luck. Of course, she'll be back after the 15th appearance with Steve Allen, I hope, on our show. But right now, friends, we're going to do a tune for you that uh, Eddie Branch and I wrote some time back, and we call it uh, uh, Lucida. And tonight, the John Castle dancers have arranged a very fine dance to go with this number, so let's put the cameras on the John Castle dancers and watch them do it. Lucida. It's our pleasure tonight to introduce a very charming, a very fine talent uh, introduced to me by our good friend and associate here from Paramount TV, uh, Mr. Lee Cooley. He's the fellow that wrote this bestseller book, The Run for Home, and I hope if you haven't gotten it already that you'll go out and get a copy of this because I'm indebted to him, especially for bringing this fine talent to us tonight. We'd like to have you meet right now from Sweden, the young fellow, Bill Clausen. A nice welcome for him. Bill Clausen, great singer. Well, 
Cuba, como el candor de una rosa. that you're giving a two-hour concert at the Wilshire Ebo Theater. And what night is that? That's a week from tomorrow night, Friday the 13th. Will you be singing uh, Spanish tunes? I'll Swedish be songs? singing a lot of Swedish, Norwegian, Danish, uh, Colombian, Venezuelan, Mexican, Irish songs, too. Well, this is incredible. <laughs> Your new album is going like a house of fire. And what company is that with? I record for Capitol Records. With Capitol Records. And I want you folks to go out and get one of his albums because you get, you get a whole mess of his wonderful, wonderful songs. We're real happy to have had you, and we'll have you back for another song a little later, huh? Thank you so much, Faye. Bill Foster, ladies here. and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Friends, our own little Susie tonight dreamed up a tune entitled Dark Eyes. She didn't dream it up, but it's her arrangement. Let's listen to her go. <laughs> Spike Jones called me one night, late at night, and he said, Spade, I got a great idea for you. Why don't you get an all-girl band? Well, I was doing pretty good with the men band, you know. But Spike talked me into getting 24 girls, and uh, I thought, well, this is fine. We've got to have a guy around someplace to do the singing with him. So we found a fellow by the name of Eddie Keeley, and he did such a wonderful job. I want you to meet him for the first time back on our show, and I want you to tear the place down for one of the nicest Irish tenors with a good voice you've ever heard. Eddie Keeley, bring him up here. <laughs> Eddie? We had a quiet time with those 24 girls, and we had a ball. <laughs> well, tonight you're doing something different because you've changed since we've seen you last to singing rock and roll strictly, haven't you? Well, the kids wouldn't buy the Irish tenor bit. No, unless I see. So, uh, of course, the older people really liked it. But we had to uh, comply with what's happening today. So we did a thing entitled Caught in a Web, which was done in rock and roll manner, and not having a guitar in your band tonight, Dad, we had to do a Dixieland. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen to it right now. Eddie Keeley. Thank you. Now, honey, take away your sugar lips 
that make me rip and rave. Yeah, cause I'm so tipsy, I've become your humble love and slave. Well, babe, caught me red. What could it do if I could break through? I'd only be blue without you. Oh, oh, no, without you. Make me rent and rave Cause I'm so tipsy I've become your Humble love and slave No part of the way But what could it do If I could break through Baby, I only be blue Without you Oh, no Without you Eddie will be back later on in the show, and right now, Lloyd Linder, if our fine, sensitive artist plays for you on his magic harp, Leroy An Anderson's delightful Forgotten Dreams. Thank you. 